So your chlamydia and gonorrhea at home test kit has just arrived to you in the post. What to do next? In this video, I'm going to talk you through what the test kit contains, how to collect your sample, and how to send it back to us in order to get your results. Firstly, we recommend taking your test kit somewhere clean and somewhere you will feel comfortable collecting your sample. We recommend the bathroom, but if you feel more comfortable elsewhere, then that is okay too. Unpack the kit onto a clean surface and wash your hands thoroughly. We'll start with how to collect your sample if you have a vagina. A simple vaginal swab is all that is needed. Simply pick up the clear plastic tube which has a long cotton swab inside of it. Twist the cap and pull the long cotton swab out of the clear tube. Then insert at least half a little finger's length of the cotton swab into your vagina, like where you would insert a tampon. Rotate this around the vagina 10 times or count to 10 if you find this easier. As long as you are rotating the swab, that's what's important. Remove from the vagina and insert it back into the clear tube. Make sure you push the cap down tightly to seal your sample and that's it. If you have a penis, things are slightly different. Your sample will need to be collected in the form of urine. In your test pack, you will find a box with a mould for your sample pot, a sample pot and a urine collection pouch. We recommend using the urine collection pouch as a sample pot is fairly small. To use the urine collection pouch, simply pop it open and wee into it. You can hold the pouch or put it onto a surface, whichever is more comfortable for you. Fill it about halfway and try to catch the first drop of urine in this sample. Once you've collected your urine, simply remove the lid of the sample pot, pull your urine into the sample pot, filling it at least halfway, but preferably to the line. Screw the cap back on tightly and always ensure you place it into the mould in the clear box and close this tightly. You're all done. Because you ordered your test online, your details have already been registered, which means you will not need to fill out a form. All you have to do is fill out the date of when you take the test. Instead, you will find a leaflet in your test kit box, which gives you instructions on how to complete your test and will also provide you with a tracking code unique to you. Keep hold of this in case you need to contact us about your test. If you collected an at-home test kit from us at the clinic, then you will need to fill out a form. This form will be included in your box and will look like this. We recommend you fill out the top portion of this form, although the key bit of information we need is your contact details. Please include a correct phone number or a correct email address, which you use regularly as this is how you will receive your result. Any and all information you provide will be kept completely confidential. Once you have collected your sample and completed any necessary forms, pop everything back into the box the test kit came in. Close the box shut and seal with the clear round sticker that's included inside. It's a free post box, which means you can head straight to the post box with it and you're all done. Please post your sample within 24 hours of collecting it if possible. Your results should take three to five working days to be sent to you, but always allow around 10 days before chasing them. To find out what happens when you get your results, watch our What Happens Next video now.